Welcome to Naresh IT. My name is Natras. In this video, I am going to talk about an introduction to Hibernet. What is need of Hibernet? Various uh, fundamentals related to Hibernet. So, I am going to talk in this particular video. First, uh, let us try to understand various terminologies related to persistence. After all, Hibernet is there to develop the persistence logic. So, let me clear one thing. C, C++, Java are the programming languages. JDBC, Servlet, JSP, EZB, all these are what? Technologies in Java. Struts, Spring, Hibernet are the frameworks in Java. Why this framework is given in Java? To develop the persistence logic. So, we'll, first we will try to understand what is persistence? What is persistence? The process of storing and managing data for a long time is called as what? Persistence. We cannot think about any service sector project without persistence. Service sector project means where services will be given. Hospital management project, services will be given to patient. Uh, Airtel project, services will be given to customer, bank project, services will be given to one customer. So, these projects are called service sector projects. So, we cannot think about any service sector project without what? Persistence, no second thought in that. For example, you take a bank project, customer comes, wants to open the account, take the details and insert the record wants to change the phone number. So, take the new phone number, update with what? Replace with new existing phone number with new phone number. Next, wants to uh, see the account balance, select operation. Next, wants to close the account. Generally, we need to delete the record. So, you take any service sector project, persistence is very, very important. So, let us understand various terminologies related to persistence various terminologies related to persistence. Number one, persistence store. It is the store where we can save and manage data for long time. So, example are files, database software. No doubt, database softwares are the better persistence stores compared to what? Files. Number two, persistent data. It is a data that is there in persistence store. Example, file data, next db table records, this is called persistent data. Next, number 3, persistence operations. The insert, update, delete, select operations performed on the persistent data of persistence store are called as what? Persistence operations. So, simply what? Insert, update, delete and select operations. Next, number 4. Actually, these persistence operations are also called as what? Code operations. In shortcut, instead of saying insert, update, delete, select operation, we can also call them as what? Code operations or crude operations or SCUD operations. C for create is nothing but inserting record. U for update, nothing but modifying record. R for read is nothing but select operation. D for delete, nothing but removal operations. Insert, update, delete, select operations are called as what? Persistence operation. In shortcut, we can call them as CURD operations, CRUDE operations, CUD operation. Actually, CURD and CRUDE one and the same. So, if we, uh, as an Indian, we say CURD operation because we know what is food item called CURD. 
as a foreigner we say crude operation mm -hmm. generally this word is brought from crude oil kind of thing scud operation so in, since it is creating some confusion i created a term called scud s for select c for create u for update d for delete everything is same s for what select nothing but retrieving operation so let me introduce let me another terminology persistence logic let me introduce persistence logic it is a logic that is used to perform persistence operations on persistence data it's a code written in one or other technology it's a code written in one or other framework or it's code written by using what one or other language so when it comes to java language we write persistence logic by using what io streams we write persistence logic by using io streams when it comes to technologies we use jdbc we use jdbc to develop what persistence logic we use hibernate to develop the persistence logic that is hibernate code number 5 persistence technologies technologies oblique framework these are the technologies or framework that are used to develop the persistence logic that are always there to develop the persistence logic example jdbc comes under persistence logic hibernate comes under persistence framework hibernate comes under persistence framework so these are the various things that are there was okay so if i put all the terminologies in a single statement persistence technology or persistence framework is given to develop persistence logic to perform persistence operations on persistent data of persistence store once again persistence technology or persistence framework is given to develop what persistence logic for performing persistence operations on persistent data of persistence store for example you take jdbc code what here for example you take what jdbc code we use jdbc code what here we use jdbc code to perform persistence operation i mean to say insert update delete select operations on persistent data of database data of persistence store called any database software like oracle mysql and another thing as of now in java two popular things are there one is jdbc other one is what hibernate to develop the persistence logic but one thing let me clear languages are raw materials that means everything we have to develop from scratch level technologies are what semi finished product something they give most of the thing we have to develop jdbc sarlet all these are technologies next frameworks are like what fully finished products almost everything is available so we should know how to give final touch to those things so frameworks are called fully finished products so generally hibernate start spring comes under what frameworks so generally i compare something like this um rice granules wheat granules are called what programming languages rice powder wheat powder atta comes under what uh, technologies in java and uh, noodles maggi noodles or patanjali noodles which are almost everything is done so ready to eat kind of thing okay such things are called what frameworks because they are fully finished products in java there are many options to develop the persistence logic there are multiple options to develop the persistence logic let us try to analyze what are those options so a java application can perform persistence operations on flat files that means normal files flat file means not specific to any technology not specific to any programming language not specific to any os flat file ordinary text files are flat files so for that purpose it uses uses what io streams so mainly in io stream we take the support of serialization and deserialization serialization and deserialization yeah 
So, Java application uses IO stream support to perform persistence operations on flat file. In that one mainly it we use what? Serialization and deserialization concept. What is serialization? The process of capturing object data and converting into bits and bytes is called what? Serialization. So, once we get object data in the form of bits and bytes, it can be written to file or it can be sent over the network. So, overall when it comes to persistence environment, we use serialization to write data of the object to what? File. Then what about deserialization sir? Reading data from a file and constructing object having that data is called as what? Deserialization. Once again, in serialization, generally we write object data to a file. Okay. In deserialization, we read data from file and we construct object that is called deserialization. So, it is nothing worry. Write, writing process is serialization, reading process is what? Deserialization. But uh, you know that um, files are having so many limitations as persistence stores. Security is not there, no standard SQL support. Next, we cannot work with the constraints like uh, unique key constraint, primary key constraint, foreign key constraint. So many problems are there. That is why, so we never prefer files as the persistence uh, stores, at least in large scale application. We prefer files as persistence stores only in what? Small scale application, only in what? Small scale applications like mobile applications, desktop games where amount of data is less and uh, so you do not want to increase the size of the application that time we will compromise and we will take what? Files as the persistence stores. But in remaining all situation while developing medium scale and large scale projects in Java like banking application, website development, enterprise application, e-commerce application where huge amount of data will be generated, there we never prefer taking what? Files as the persistence stores. There we prefer taking the support of what? Okay. There we prefer taking the support of database softwares as the persistence stores. What here? Database software, especially we prefer taking RDBMS database softwares like, like Oracle, MySQL and etc. So, for this purpose to perform this, we have to take the support of either JDBC or OR mapping. I know that those are seeing this video, I am assuming that they know only JDBC. To learn Hibernate only JDBC is the prerequisite. There is no need of having any other framework knowledge to learn the Hibernate. So, we can perform persistence operations on database software from Java application either by using JDBC or by using what? OR mapping, object relational mapping. So, let me give the hint, the way we develop Hibernate code as persistence logic comes under what? OR mapping persistence logic development. What development? OR mapping persistence logic development. So, ultimately uh, to perform persistence operation from Java application, 